Due to the pandemic and due to low inventory, we've had to relearn how to write contracts in this crazy market. Normally, we would write an offer with to the sellers and would hear back, usually within like 12 hours, whether they counted the offer or accepted it. Now it takes days before we hear back and if the sellers accepted our offer or not. And if they didn't accept it, it just prolonged our home search even longer. Looking at the comps of what the home sold for in the area used to give us a good guide on how we would put our offer together. Well, now homes are going for 20, 40, 60,000 over asking price. It's just crazy. And some homes in areas where you would never think or going 100,000 over asking price. My gosh, this is in Beverly Hills. So I'm gonna go over five top mistakes to avoid in this market. Hi, my name is Cindy Clarice and with Remix Real Estate. If this is your first time to my channel and you'd like to receive more real estate tips like this or videos on what's like living in the area or market updates, well then hit that subscribe button, ring that bell. That way you're notified next week when I do my next video. I really get phone calls, texts, emails from people moving in the area. So if you're moving into any of the cities in St. Charles, St. Louis, Lincoln counties, I can help. Mistake number one, trying to do it on your own. There are benefits for having a realtor. We not only have access to the MLS and the coming soons, but we are in private Facebook groups and networking with other agents, sharing what inventory we have and what we got coming up. It's important in order to choose a realtor that knows how to structure an offer in order to get an accepted. And that it's going to be up front with you and explain you how cruel this market can be. So many buyers out there get so upset when their offers don't get accepted. That's why it's never too soon to reach out. Find out if you even really want to be in this market. You're going to have to maybe pass on appraisals, skip inspections. You might not even want to be in it. But if you do, and you don't want to take up every weekend looking for a house, well, think hard now what you're willing to do. I tell my clients to pay attention to the homes that they liked and sold in the past and see what they sold for. So that way you learn what you need to offer to get the winning bid. Mistake number two, starting late. So many people think they shouldn't talk to a realtor until they're ready to purchase a house or stick the sign in the yard. And that's so not true. If you're thinking within the next 12 months, let's talk. That way you're prepared and not rushed. You don't want to make desperate decisions on the biggest purchase you're ever going to make. So don't be caught up in a desperate search because your lease is going to be caught up soon. You want your purchase to be a great investment, not just because it's the only thing you could find. You have to realize in this market with all the crazy bidding wars and the low inventory, don't expect the first offer to get accepted and don't get so hung up with the emotion. You got to remember, stay straight because you do want a home and that's what your aim is for. So don't get wrapped up in losing the offer. There is a home for you and we will find it. Mistake number three, don't think you just missed out on your dream home. Even though we're in low inventory and competition is a beast, there will be another house that will check out all the marks. But the basement that you've always wanted, the kitchen to die for, the area great for entertaining, it will be there, so don't lose hope. And on the other spectrum, if you're still getting your house ready to put on the market, don't worry, we're not expecting to have a typical fall. As of last week, interest rates on a 30-year fixed rate was 2.86% according to Freddie Mac. Homes that stand out for some reason or another are still flying off the shelf. Mistake number four, choosing the wrong lender. In this market, you want to check off every avenue on having the strongest team working for you. And choosing the right lender is just as important as choosing the right realtor. Some offers can be overlooked just because of the lender the buyer is using. And especially in this market, or really any market, the best lender is to use a local lender. They know how to work our contracts and they know how our local market is. When you're talking to an 800 number, how are they an expert to our local market? Just this past year, I've gotten a couple offers accepted just because of the buyer that my, just because the lender that my buyer was using. For the seller, it could be overwhelming looking over so many offers, but when they saw someone that they recognized, it helped get an offer accepted. You want a lender that's going to discuss every option available to you to best position you to win the offer. And a good lender is going to have good systems in play. So that way he's going to streamline the transaction and it's going to be exciting purchasing your new home. Tip number five, don't screw up your offer. Clients ask all the time, what should we offer? Typically, we would look and see what the home sold for in the area. But in this market, it just doesn't hold true. Because in this market, the list price is only the starting price. So like I said, by watching the houses that you liked in the past and what they sold for, that way you know going forward on how to structure your offer in order to get it accepted.
and you still had to think about, do you want to weigh the appraisal? Do you want to weigh the inspections? Do you want to just buy the house as is? And for Pete's sake, don't even think of asking for any closing cost. Do you want to cover the appraisal gap? And if so, by how much? And then there's the escalated clause. You got to check with the seller to see if they're accepting them. And the sellers no more want to see the buyer's letters. So besides short of sticking your own St. Joseph statue in the yard that you're trying to purchase, you just want to make sure that all your bases are covered. And above all, I tell my clients, offer whatever purchase price you can sleep with at night. I hope you found this video valuable and stay tuned for next week's video. And in between, if you need anything, please feel free to reach out and stay safe.